Hi everyone, it's Nicole from Practice Cindy for Just the Tip Tuesday. We're doing sundial pose this week. Um, so you're gonna want a block, a pillow, or a bolster, um, and then also a strap or like a belt or a tie or something like that. Um, maybe a rope, I don't know why you have rope lying around, but maybe you do, okay? Um, and we're gonna get into this posture. It is um, a seated posture. It's a hamstring stretch. It's a lateral side bend, and it's also kind of a seated twist, okay? So uh, I'm gonna give you some modifications on how to get into it, but first I'm gonna show you what the posture looks like um, at its fullest expression, okay? So my fullest expression, I should say. Um, so you come to a seated posture, so sit bones are planted. I'm gonna start by bending my left knee and bringing my heel towards my perineum. I'm gonna start to shift my weight a little bit onto my left hip. And then I'm gonna reach for my right foot with my left hand. So I'm grabbing the sole of my foot with my hand. And then I'm just gonna kind of help this leg up and over my shoulder, okay? So setting it right here, I'm gonna place my right hand down. You can see my right hip's gonna lift up off the ground a little. That's okay, I'm gonna start to straighten the leg. And then I'm gonna shift my weight back into my right hip so that it comes back down to the ground, okay? So you can see I'm side bending here. Then I'm gonna start to look up towards the sky and that's where the twist comes in, okay? So you can see it's a pretty prep-ly situation. Um, so how can we get into this with a little bit of support? So you can use a block, a bolster, or a pillow. So um, getting your hips up a little higher can help give you a little bit more space um, when it comes to extending the leg, when it comes to reaching for the leg. So both, uh, block doesn't offer too much um, support for underneath your tush. So if you need something bigger, use a bolster, use a pillow, um, whatever works for you. And it's the same setup, okay? So you bend the right leg in. So now you can see that like, this isn't as difficult anymore, right? Your knee is below your hip, so you have some more space for your groin and everything to open up. Now you have to pick up this leg. This does mean you have to balance a little bit more if you're on this block, okay? And then bring it on top of the shoulder. Other hand comes down for support, and then straighten the leg, okay? Give what's up, and that completes the twist. So since you are a little higher, you have a little further to reach down towards the ground with the opposite hand to support you, okay? So if you're like, yeah, still no, not for me. Um, we can do hair and pose. So hair and pose is a great um, modification for this, and I'm actually gonna grab a strap for this. So grabbing a hold of your foot and straightening the leg is a challenge of enough, enough for you, then you might wanna bring a strap here. So you're sitting on a bolster or a pillow. The left leg is bent. Wrap the strap around the arch of your right foot, okay? So it's wrapped around there. Then you're just gonna shift your weight back a little bit so that you can pick your heel up and then start to straighten your leg, okay? Then notice that you might kind of lean back into it and see if you can sit up tall and then just bring that leg in towards you. So I'll give you a little side view of this so you can see what it looks like. So in this pose, we're still doing a hamstring stretch. Um, we're still adding in that seated aspect of the pose um, and still using our core here in this pose to keep ourselves seated up, right, okay? So the only thing that we kind of eliminate here is the side bend and the big shoulder stretch for the grip, okay? So still something that you can work towards. Now, if you wanted to progress this, I'm just gonna switch sides in um, honor of balance. Um, you can still take hair and pose, extend the leg up. So you notice that my weight shifts back, shift it back forward. And then maybe you just start to sweep the leg out to the side so that now you're getting the inner thigh opener, okay? So shifts your balance a little bit and asks your obliques, um, your transverse abdominis to do a little bit more. And then you can bring it back and lower it down. So that can be a way that you can start to move closer into that sundial posture because we do stretch the leg out just a little bit towards the side um, in order to extend it up overhead, okay? Now, if you wanted to try sundial um, pose, 
with a strap, you can do that if you just like know that your shoulders are really tight, but you're really flexible in your hips and your hamstrings, you don't have any problems or limitations sitting on the ground, then you can always try this, the sundial pose on the floor, okay? So the only uh, limitation this um, helps is if you have like tight shoulders, okay? So there's still a lot going on if you're sitting on the ground. So you bring it in towards the body, you kind of hike that leg up on top of the shoulder, and then the other hand comes down for support, straighten the leg, shift the weight into that hip, and then maybe you just kind of loosen the grip on the strap so the leg's not as close in towards the body, and that shoulder doesn't have to make that connection as much, okay? Um, there should be a couple different variations that are introduced to you this week in class. Um, so you can take this standing as well if you want. Um, just kind of helps eliminate um, that, the, any limitations of the low back if you have some. So you could take your leg up to the wall so that you're starting to open up through the hips. Arm can come back behind. Maybe it just kind of reaches back behind for a little bind. And then the top arm can reach over. So you're getting that side bend here. And then maybe you look up towards the sky, okay? So still asking a ton of the hips in the hamstrings. And then you're adding in that slight rotation of the spine and the gaze up towards the sky and including your lateral side bend. Okay, so lots of different ways to get into this on um, this week. I plan to be in class, so I hope to see you there as well, and I will see you next week. Bye.